What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you tonight with more Dokkan Battle. And uh, tonight we are in for a treat, because we just got Tora just a little bit ago, and I've actually been grinding him out. Okay? Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to restore stamina. Now, if you guys haven't done a stamina restoration yet with uh, the meats, the meats, be really cautious with this, because it immediately wants to do like a full stamina restoration. And in a lot of cases, that's not necessary. So what I do is I just make sure I go down to one. That's all I'm gonna need for this. You could actually go here to change and you can grab the uh, the, the whole shank. Uh, and that will obviously give you significantly more. But for me, for my purposes, I just need the one cut, right? I'm a hungry man, but I only need one steak. So I don't need that, that full Goku meal, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to grab one of those bad boys, restore stamina, and I've only got like maybe one, two runs tops left on Taurus, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I need 108 medium uh, orbs. Now, this run is exactly like all the stuff we've done uh, all the days prior, so there's not a whole lot to talk about here. Alright, so hopefully we'll be able to grab some mediums. Uh, looks like I should get everything I need on this run, yeah. Perfect. So, yeah, this will be the last run. And that's good news. Alright, doesn't really matter what I grab up here. So, except that I do need as many of the mediums as I possibly can get. So, give me a deuce. There we are. Perfect. Absolutely great. Bam. 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 Boom and boom, boom. Now this is going to give me a dupe, and I will talk about why I actually might farm up a couple of dupes of this dude. Um, but we'll talk about that here in a moment. First of all, let's just rip through this real fast. I ain't even worried about what this, what's going to happen here. We're just going to kind of wreck him out with Goku. Get him! 1.4. Man, get a crit for us. Not only does he have type advantage, if he crits, that it'll look amazing. No crit. Oh, come on, Goku. Come on, baby. Alright, so we did get a drop. As you know with these guys, if you get the Ozaru form, the grade 8 form, it's guaranteed a drop. Um, and I'm going to be real. I actually think I might go back and, and farm up a few more of them before this event disappears. Now, you don't need to worry about the event disappearing, so let's be real about this. This is like the Ginyu Force event. These, this event is going to be around indefinitely. So you don't need to worry about necessarily grinding it up right away. I did, because I'm a content creator. But, you know, you, you will have time to do this. If you haven't started the event yet, or you're not sure you even care, uh, A, they really reward you for doing it. B, you know, uh, it's just a good team to run all around, and it's another free LR kind of bolsters the uh, the account, so to speak. So, that should be the final round that I needed. I'm going to go into the Hidden Potential system. Now, uh, and if you haven't been watching the entire ordeal, if you haven't been watching this every single day, I'll put the rest of the videos in the comments section down below. They run every single day. You can farm up uh, the actual dupes of them during the week. If you've got, you know, just the orbs that you need, you can get those on the weekend. So, this is my last set of orbs. This is 100%. And I'll show you a little mistake that I made. Early on, I put a lot of investment in criticals. But I'm going to be real. Uh, you actually, most of, the, uh, most of the stuff that I put critical in, you could actually change to uh, double attack. Now, in all my other builds, I never really broke these up because these are different... Um, different, uh, 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 well, I guess patterns slash maps than what we normally get on most summonable units, you don't have as many points to put into critical or double attack. So I always put it into one thing and didn't really break it up. You need to see they got critical or they got double attack. The problem with Tora being uh, a tech, apparently with him, you have to choose critical or double attack. And you... You could break it up, I mean, if you wanted to, but I don't recommend it because you can see the minimal point spectrum up there. Like, uh, 
you know, seven points into, into double attack, even if he gets two attacks, which he's not going to, he's only got one attack to get, he's typically only going to get the double attack, you know, or typically not going to get the double attack. Now, if I went the full gambit, put all 15 points into double attack, then he'd probably get it. The problem is, if you go over here to this upper right path, you kind of can't do, I mean, there's critical there, but then up here, you've got evasion. So you can either go... 10 points into into crit and then a few points into evasion or you can go all in on double attack my personal my opinion on this one is that it's better on units like this to go all in on one thing rather than breaking it up now that's my opinion if you choose to uh i guess if, if your opinion is different that's fine uh but let's talk real quick let's go ahead and awaken him and let's talk about what he does now Per usual to awaken these units, we're going to go here into the uh, missions, and I'm going to grab my Bardock here in a moment, we're going to talk about him, but I'm just going to grab the Torah medals right away, we're going to go into awaken, and yes, Bardock is there, but we'll take care of him in a minute. Let's talk about what Torah does and why I say what I say, okay? Okay. So, we'll go into training, and I'll just go ahead and give him some items here real quick. There we are. Now, so he's now 100%. He's good to go. He's maxed out. Everything's golden on him. But if I go in here and I look at his stats, okay? Uh, first of all, super attack is... Raises attack and defense and causes extreme damage... Or, I'm sorry, supreme damage to the enemy. Thank God, not, not extreme. The days of extreme damage are pretty much done, thankfully. Uh, passive skill. All allies keep plus two attack and defense 30%. Recovers 10% whenever HP is 70% or less if there are five or more low class warrior category allies on the team. Why would you give that double attack? Well, you wouldn't. You'd want to give that crit. But since you can't go all in on crit, you either go like level 10 crit and level 3 dodge, or you go all in on double attack. While double attack isn't really optimal for this build, my opinion is I, I would rather go all in. So I'm going to farm up a few dupes and I'm going to change all those crits to double attack. Because I think breaking it up like this, you're rarely if ever going to get a crit or a double. It's not, not a beneficial build in my opinion. Okay, So that's my opinion on that. Now, if you do differentiate, that's... You know, let me know in the comment section down below why you do so. But personally, I just don't, I don't see any real benefit in breaking up that team. I think going level 15 on one thing is way better than going a little bit on the other. But let's get down to this right now. The exciting thing. The main reason that we've been farming this up is right here. LR Bardock. Okay. Boom. Boom. Now, obviously, I'm going to go build my team. But we finally have our LR Team Bardock unit. How awesome is that? <laughs> okay, and if you just want to overview what he does. Uh, Team Bardock, Bardock category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense 120%. Uh, Rage Cyclone, greatly raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage. And then there's 18 key, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and raises superclass allies attack by 30% for one turn. Okay. Uh, passive skill. Superclass allies attack and defense 30%, plus an additional attack and defense 30% for Team Bardock category allies. So do the math on how much that's actually giving your team. He should be pretty beastly. Now, I do also want to point out, at the moment, at this exact moment, if we go into the right section here, Special missions. Let's go down here. Clear any stage under special condition 50 times. Now, doesn't look like there's a timeout on this, so just basically run 50 events with the Bardock team. But create a Bardock team, okay? First five characters are blah, 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 blah. Basically, create the Bardock team, the free-to-play Bardock team that we just... Um, yeah, that, that we just farmed up. Use the Bardock leader, use a sub-Bardock, and in fact, I will go ahead and share my Bardock as my friend lead. 
So you guys have Bardock to use. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. So if you are friended with me on the game, you will have my Bardock. I'm going to just go to the top. There we go. I think they got rid of the, the secret uh, secret buttons. So I'm going to go build my Bardock team here real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Change all. Let's grab Bardock. Let's grab Tor uh, Tora. Let's grab Borgos. Shugesh. The other Bardock here. And let's grab Fasha. And we have our full team. Now, obviously, I've got to go uh, give Bardock's, uh, you know, some guys. I've got to go uh, level them up. But we've got our full team right here. I've got to level up the other Bardock, too, apparently. So they're twins. Isn't that cute? So build your team. Go run your Bardock's. Get your dupe of Bardock. And if you want my opinion of what to put in Bardock, because he should have... Emphasis on should. Just a very basic... Yeah. Same same type of map we always see in, in the potential system. So, with him, I think giving him crits would be the best possible thing. Now, he is going to have native dodge up in here. Because he is an int type. But you should be able to give the usual selection of crits and all that to him. But, obviously, with uh, the first one you'll, you'll want to do is the lower right path. You'll definitely want to do this before anything else. And I would say give him crits before all that. Now, the other question I'm sure that people are going to have is, when are we going to see dupes? We don't know. Nothing is set in stone on this one. But, if the previous event like this is any indication, if we go in here to treasure, more than likely, uh, up in here, we will be able to get dupes later on for our battlefield memory. And no, I have not maxed out my, uh, my, come on you, my oob. Because I hate that unit. Come on. Come back. Great. Well. I'd edit that out, but... Uh, there we go. Come on. Don't be bashful. There you go. I'd edit that out, but I just want to get the video out. So there you go. Uh, I will come back and we'll talk about King Cold himself. But I do fully expect by the next time we get a battlefield or ultimate clash or whatever you want to call it we will probably get dupes for that bardock team right here we'll talk about whether it's worth getting dupes of mecha frieza or bardock because we're going to go uh, damage test both of these guys i'll have the damage test of bardock out in the morning and i'll have the damage test of mecha frieza sometime here really soon so stay tuned for that make sure you hit the uh sub button down below if you haven't already Make sure you hit the notification bell to stay up to date with that. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I got some grinding to do. I'll catch you on a little bit.